play every play to win. You play for victory. Here's the great thing. Newberry College done brought in 21 1A players, so they say. Well, guess what? We got some 1A players here, too. I ain't told you that. I've been saving that. But we got some guys that can play 1A football. You understand me? Yes, so we go out there tonight, and you play, and guess what? Victory will taste even sweeter. It'll taste even sweeter. See you here at halftime. See you here after the game. God bless you. Let's go play. <laughs> Scores the game-winning touchdown, and here come Look the goalposts. Look out. I, I tell you what, they, they, our students said they were going to do that, but I hope they don't do it anymore. Well, it was something that came out and gave us the support. I'm with something like a dream, you know. It's something you never you never thought would ever come true. It was like a dream, and they was here, the team, the community, the university, Dr. Engel, everybody made it possible. Hey, this game for them. They're the winners today. Coach Carolina University, they won this game today. This year, when everybody graduates their seniors, we'll all still be here. Next year, when everybody graduates for seniors, we'll still be here. Which we're going to find out how good of recruiters we were here in a couple of years. <laughs> Now they run the play to Perkins. First down and more. Go in go. by yeah. touchdown. Shot it clear. It took a while to get the play off, but when it did, the percolator heated up and takes it in from 12 yards to cut the Moorhead lead in half. It's now 14 to 6. Defense is fun, and what we want our guys to understand is um, they can have a lot of fun playing defense. You know, there's a lot of different things that they can accomplish as far as individual goals and, and team goals that make it a lot of fun. You know, of course, offenses get a lot of glory with uh, scoring touchdowns and those things. Coastal. <laughs> Takes the handoff, busted play, he's got to make something out of it. Runs to the near side, gets a block from Klein. Look at this. Look at this. Touchdown McKinnon! He makes something happen on the busted play. Brad Klein sprung him on the corner, and the shot of clears take a 6-0 lead with 9.50 left in the first quarter. It's a big transition between high school and... and that tells the offensive line and the running back that it's sprint out. 69 is the route by the two receivers here. And then we, because we don't have a third number, we tell the fullback who we call B, we tell him where to go. We tell him to run in the flat. Throughout the course of the season, 669 B flat can have a number of results. From a completion to the fullback, or how about a completion to the I receiver, like this Perry Parks 28 yard reception in the week one win over Newberry. Then you have the Z on the deep route, or the quarterback could just go on the run. It's one of over 100 play variations in the Coastal Carolina playbook. I, I like it. I mean, I like rolling out. I mean, that's that's a real good way to get out of the pocket, get away from all the defensive linemen and everything. But, I mean, I, I kind of like that pass. When you do call that play, what what are you thinking? I'm thinking it's going to be a home run. I'm thinking we're going to gain some yards. Either either I'm going to throw it if everybody's covered, or I'm going to run it and pick up some yards. Hard up with his foul. That's the saying, and I and tell all the guys. And no matter how hard how hard you think it, you know it is, you know you're not the only one going through this. So whatever we do, you know it's going to be hard times, but you always got to look at it. it's fair. Actually, new quarterback in Sean Durham. His here's his hit intercepted by Simpkins, breaking tackles across the 30, and still carrying men down to around the 25. So they bring in the new quarterback, Sean Durham, and he immediately has the ball deflected and intercepted by the shot of clear. These guys, the offensive line: Toothman, Bradley Poston, uh, Nick Johnson, uh, Jeff Coat, tight end, 
Landrum, another tight end. Les Rice doing a wonderful job. Let's take a look at Fisher here. We're going to stop the tape. That's number 30, Brandon Fisher. If he doesn't make this block, Coach, no touchdown. No, I don't even know if we would have got the first down. So, first of all, you want to get the first down, and then a uh, great effort by Perkins, a super run, getting the touchdown. Because Greg Williamson really stepped up 87 yards on the punt return. Larry Anderson getting the guy right there on the edge, and we thought he was about to step out, but he didn't, and gets it in there. We got the big tooth, everybody know tooth right here, um, Chad Toothman, we got Perk, all right, we got the whip, we call him Geechee Man from Charleston, Geechee Man, the whip Myers, Tig O' Biddy, Troy Biddy, who else we got over here, we got Ryan Lowry, we call him Debo, all right, and down there we got, um, what's your last name, Dion Glenn, we call him Eddie Murphy, uh, uh. <laughs> you look like Eddie Murphy. <laughs> Numbers, chapter 4, verses 11 through 13.